you are so grievous you feel of pain you feel of sorrow you need to give your life to Jesus you need to repent Can't dance for no sweet Mickey anymore. This body can't dance for a little Wayne anymore. This body has been bruised and sacrificed. It has been nailed with Jesus. It died with Jesus. Resurrected with Jesus. It only dance for Jesus. It don't dance for nothing else. See, if you're seeking for God, look for people who are seeking for God. If you want God, look for people who want God. Stop making friends because you want to look cool. Cool. There are some people they want they came to look cool. Some of them they, 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 they want to look cool. Like any conversation they want to talk. Some of, them, some of them some of them they are fashion models. They, they fashion models. They come to church and dress. So somebody say, Hey, you look cute today. You look cute today. They, you know, some of you you've been tick tacking while you are in the church so somebody can say you are a church girl so they can slip a little comment about you that hey listen let me have your number see you are not looking for God you are looking for lust some pictures I have Facebook too. I have Facebook. Have Facebook too. Some pictures I see you guys Don't post on Facebook. Facebook. And then you're trying to put a verse. For, I know the plans that I have for you. Yeah, yeah, what plan you talking about? What plans you talking about? That type of picture don't look like no plan of God to me. That type of picture look like Jezebel behind it. It look like there's a serpent. There is a snake that is sniffing behind it. That type of picture look like a witch that's trying to fly to catch a man. Some of you, you are the one that calls these young men masturbating out there. Because you have picked up you keep putting certain pictures up there and you know what you're doing and these young men these days they never raised with their father they never raised with their parents so they don't know how to hold themselves they fall for your picture guys I said it to you and I'm saying it again if it's already discovered don't want it you the one that need to discover it. I think it, it got hotter in here. <laughs> Wearing tight dress don't mean you cute. Wearing tight dress mean you are a hoochie mama. You are ratchet. Matter of fact, wearing, uh, wearing tight dress can lead you to whore spirit. Prostitute in yourself. You want to look good, cover it all. I say you want to look good, cover it all. Cover it all. When you cover it all, you make somebody minds wonder. I can see what's going on here. I can see what's happening here. But some of you, you want to wear tight dress. You want to show all your body shape. Ah, you might be a Jezebel. Oh, let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. I'm talking to somebody today. Don't get me wrong. I'm still old fashioned. I said, I'm, I'm still old fashioned. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I don't mind people wear, I don't mind people wear weaves and whatever, but I like natural. Natural. So, uh, them weaves, everything somebody put on them represent something they covering up. 
That's why it's hard for me to wear. I don't have a problem with it. It's hard for me, for me to wear necklaces and jewels. It's hard because I feel even this. I'm wearing this because of the ministry. It has all the ministry information on it. But sometimes there's something in my hands. It's, it's bugging me. I can keep it. It's bugging me. I can't. Because I like to be free. So I can move with the spirit. But I don't have a problem you wear it. It's just that don't go to extreme. Because when you start going extreme, I will call the devil behind you. Somebody say hallelujah. Slap your neighbor, say neighbor. If you want God, look for someone that is seeking for God. Oh, that neighbor didn't hear you. Look for someone else and say it. Look for someone else. Someone. Are you getting tired of me? No. Someone who is wicked. He said, their ways Façon yo. are grievous. Their ways come with pain. Even like douleur. Their ways come with pain. Façon yo vin avec douleur. Ladies and gentlemen. If you have a friend si zami, and all you feel et tout son senti, around the friend le ou pa mis ami sa, is pain, douleur, run away. Pourri. Run away. Pourri. If you have people around you si moun bo kote ou, and all they keep breaking to you sa ya pote ba ou, is pain, douleur, run away. Pourri. Because somebody like that pas son moun they cannot see anything right. All they see is problems. Some of you, before you was a Christian, you used to have big smile on your face. When you become a Christian, you have laughter in your mouth. Out of nowhere, I don't know what happened to you. Éclairé mouté. Sous mon mouté. You became fresh. Wal fait zami. You went to create friends. Baou. That they give to you. Next thing I know. Next let me think on it. Laughter left your mouth. Quand tu m'as quitté bouchou. You used to be so humble. But you went and connect to someone. All they did to you, they whisper words in your ears. And they put bitterness in your heart. They put bitterness. You used to say hi to everybody. You went and talk to somebody. You don't say hi no more. Because now everybody is an enemy to you. Who told you that? Who made that happen to you? Make your life a living hell. Adam was naked the whole time. But that snake came and whispered and says, You can eat from the tree. And he ate from it. And he said, I'm naked. This is what happened to some of you. The person next to you was always a terrible person. But when you receive salvation, you receive wisdom. When you receive salvation, you receive strength. When you receive salvation, you receive endurance. When you receive salvation, you receive faithfulness. That means you can handle certain things. But now you let somebody play in your head. You lose all your strength. You waste all your endurance. Now you cannot take it. You are looking at people's wrong. All pain and suffering. That's a wicked person. They don't like Hakim. They're going to make sure no one likes him. They 
They don't want to hang with certain people. Pas vouloir rester côté en série des monde. Don't make sure no one hang with that person. Parce que si personne ne parle avec beaucoup de monde ça. I had people that they stole my name. When they message me, when they talk to me, or they want my help, it's as if they done nothing to me. If I was moving because of what people done to me, I would never be who I am today. How are you a Christian? You are letting people make you hate. How? That's wicked. How do you judge someone on what you are doing yourself? Their ways are grievous. It comes with suffering. It comes with pain. You cannot afford to stay in an environment like that. No wonder unbelievers doesn't want to come believers. Because some of you, all you do is gossip. All you do is talk that's all you do. Sales of No prophet, I don't. Oh no prophet. Yes, you do. We fell. Because whenever you come to church, you look like grumpy. Your face look terrible. Your voice sound horrible. A sound with attitude, personality. personality. How are you part of a church? You say, I don't want to hang with these people. Then if you don't want to hang with these people, who you hang with? Warlocks? Voodoo priests? I thought that the Bible said we must fellowship. Who is we? We who are the church, the assembly of God. We must fellowship. If we don't fellowship, who do you fellowship with? Me, all I do is come to church and go home. If all you do is come to church and go home, you are a Jezebel. Jezebel. Because the Bible said you supposed to fellowship not with her, not with that girl, not with that man, with brothers and sisters. We are brothers and sisters in Christ. You are saying me, I can stand these people. You are so grievous. You feel of pain. You feel of sorrow. You need to give your life to Jesus. You need to repent. You need to turn around. You are so full of pain. You must turn around and let God deliver you. Let God set you free. You are supposed to hang around your brothers and your sisters. Talk about that girl. That man. If, if you so much you don't want to be around these people, why you keep coming? Me, I, I come here for God. No, you did not. No, I didn't want you. Because you can't even stay, sit next to that sister. You don't want to sit next to that brother. You didn't come for God. You came to harass. You came to harass. To stir up the anger. You, you came to, to get information whoever sent you so you can go back and talk to them. Yes, I said it. Some of you, you didn't come to church. You come to look what is going on here because somebody asked you a question maybe in West Palm Beach. 
somebody ask you a question maybe in Miami somebody ask you a question around the world what is going on with prophet Kevin you said I don't know you say I'm gonna find out the next thing you come to church and you sit in the church when they say hi to you you roll in your eyes when they say hi to you you give him stick look why because you didn't come to church you come to observe you come to get information you come to pass out news that is a Jezebel spirit Help the church, sir. Help the church. If you was part of the church, you would have never been a Judas to sell us out. You sold us out because someone want to take you to the movies. You sold us out because they're giving you $20. You sold us out because they want to buy you food. Some of you, you sold us out because you want sex from him. You sold us out because you want him to pay your bills. You sold us out because you're lazy. You don't want to go to work. You want him to take care of your business for you. So whatever they tell you, you give them information and the information you give they are lies because you never here to begin with you never showed up to begin with I'm speaking in general here the body of Christ cannot be a virus against its own self we are a body we're supposed to protect the body you have never went to the Muslim and heard what the Muslim does you never go to the Illuminati you hear what they do they protect their own they fight for their own. But when they come to the church, it's a world of dog fight against dog. When they come to the church, it's a knife for an eye. I'm here to tell somebody that we gotta turn this thing around. We are not supposed to be a grievous people. We are happy people. The Bible said in the book of Hebrews, He anoint us with an oil of gladness, an oil of joy. David said, I was glad. When they say unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Why should I be upset if I come in the church? If I feel upset, I need to check my heart. If I feel grieved, I need to check my heart. There might be a snake around me. There might be a mamba that is putting poison in my heart. I need to check my surroundings. I need to check my friends. If I'm coming to church, I'm supposed to be happy because I'm coming in the house of God, but some of you, you not coming for God, you coming with your grief, you coming with your guilt, you coming with your sorrow, and you brought it upon the church to put confusion, that is a Jezebel spirit. Change your name to Jezebel. I know some of you don't want to say amen. Today I'm talking to you. I've been giving you revelations over revelations. It's not changing you. You're still gossiping. It's not changing you. You're still a Judas. It's not changing you. You're still trying to stop people to come to the church. Oh, I don't come to that church no more. If you don't come to that church no more, why keep seeing you when everything's going great? If you don't come to that church no more, why keep seeing you when your life turns upside down? You telling people don't come, but when your life goes to hell, this is where you are. I come to tell somebody, open your eyes. Don't let the snake play in your head. Open your eyes. Don't let the snake play around with you. You gotta open your eyes and see the truth for yourself. Ah. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. I know you don't want to hear me. But the Holy Ghost gave me that message. I have that message for about two months now. And today I feel like today is the day. Today I feel like today is the day. Today I feel like today 
Sit down. Sit down. Hold on my stuff. My stuff thought I was done. No, my stuff. There's more. There's more. There's more. There's more, my stuff. My stuff said, Prophet, enough, enough. They, 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 enough. No, 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 no. Someone that's wicked, they always write it down. They always puffed up. They puffed up at the enemies. Hmm. You never be talking to somebody. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, come on, yeah. And then walk by, walk, just, just walk by. Just then, you are, what's, what's going on? Mango just changed. 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 Mango About to say something. Gazi. Someone Yomun. who don't love the enemies can never be blessed. You wonder why God don't provide for you. Because you don't love your enemies. God only gives the people that know they have enemies and they love the enemies. Why? Because the enemy you think you have is someone that's waiting for you to be blessed so they can benefit from your blessing. But you keep paying attention to what they are doing and you get in the same place as them. Some of you, you got problems. How do you know that person is even your enemy? You don't know them, they don't know you. There are so many people who say stuff about me. I don't know them. They don't know me. But later on in life, they so happen to always call me and say, Prophet, what is the word of the Lord? Now, if I had seen that person as an enemy, I would have prophesied out of the bitterness of my heart. But love is inside of me. When they call me, I say, Heed the word of the Lord. And I declare the word of God. Some of you, you got problems. God is not preparing tables for you because you don't love your enemies. He only prepares a table in front of the enemies. When somebody don't like you, let them don't like you. The other day the Lord says, son of man, if they don't talk bad about you, you need to be afraid. If they don't talk bad about you, you need to get scared. If everyone celebrates you, you are wrong. If they're son of men, they need to hate you. They need to say stupid things about you. When they begin to talk about you, that means you do something right. Because nobody pick up a stone and throw it at the madman. I don't have the energy to puff up at enemies. You don't want that don't like me. I don't have problem with you. If you call them enemies, they will always stop. When you are at your graduation, on a graduation, they will steal your joy. Y a pour la joie, oui. Because they will show up on Parce purpose. Par Here I am. Même, oui. <laughs> when you are at your wedding, on a mariage, they will show up. Y a And right there. La même. They put the water spirit in your marriage. Le because you start giving your husband problems. Problem. Who invited? Who invited? Who invited? Invite Babe, we are getting married. We like it. I can't relate. Who invited? Who invited? Who invited? The next is says after that day. All you do in the marriage. Who invited? Chape. Chape. When you open the restaurant, they know you don't like them. They will walk in. Order a plate of food. And they say, give you a bad review. But 
Why? Because you're giving them attention. Parce qu'on paye attention. I don't have that time. I said I don't have that time. Baguette en ça. Why are you hating me? Pendant Abraham, I'm sleeping. Ma dormi. I don't have that time. Bye, Tonsal. 